Hello and welcome to Engineering Simple. In this video, part 2D, I'll be talking about test 3 in performing zero sequence impedance tests on grounded wire, grounded wire without a delta. So test 3, apply single phase voltage this time to the low voltage winding. So I'm going with a 12 kV winding, just uh, as an illustration. All three low voltage windings are shorted, connected in parallel. The high voltage winding are left open. So if I have, this is the high side, and this is, this is a low side and I can label them A, bushing H1, H2, H3, X1, X2, X3. So what I'm doing, I'm shortening the low voltage and I'm applying single phase voltage. So that's the neutral. And I'm leaving the high side voltage windings open. Since I don't have any delta, I don't have to worry about this. So I measure, in this case, 470.31 volts. The measured current is 450.1 amps. So here is the equation to calculate the zero sequence impedance obtained from this test in ohms. So three times the voltage divided by the current, three times, that's the voltage, that's the current. So it's 3.13 ohms per phase. And again, I multiplied by three here because the voltage, the measured voltage, so this voltage here is per phase. So it's a line to neutral, line to neutral basically, what this here means. Then, but the current, the current that flows, you know, in the, in the windings is three times the per phase or per winding. So if you think of this current here, it's three times the winding current per phase. That way, these three cancel out. I have per phase voltage and per phase current. Then the zero sequence impedance obtained from test three formula is three times 100% times the measured voltage divided by measured current, the entire thing divided by rated voltage divided by a rate of current. If I rearrange, that's just 300 times volt measure voltage divided by rated voltage times rated current divided by the measured current. In this case, since I'm applying single phase voltage to the low voltage winding, which is 12 kV, so I'm gonna calculate the, the phase voltage. So 12 kV, which is line to line, divided by square root of three, basically, gives me the line to neutral voltage is 6.93 kV. The rated current, so the low voltage winding is basically rated, the wind is rated 27 MVA. So I calculate the rated current. Then I just plug the numbers in this formula. So I convert it from volts to kV just so I can cancel the kVs. So I just plug the numbers basically amps cancel each other. So I get 58.7.75%. So I'm just writing the number here. So because I'm gonna need this later to build a T model. So next video is test four. So it's part two E. For more videos, you can go to engineering simple. Thank you for watching this video.